Hi, this is Debbie at debscraps.com. I wanted to show you a page that I did today. I really love it. I've been thinking about this page for well over a year. I knew I wanted to do it. First, I had to find the hands for the clock. I had to figure out if I wanted to use real clock hands. I decided that might damage the page or the page protector when I put it in the album, so I went ahead and went with stickers. And so then I tried to find clock hand stickers. Couldn't find them at any store, so I finally found some on eBay. And there they are. They are really nice. There was a variety. Those are the two I chose. What they're recording is the date, well, the time that my grandson was born. He was born at 1106, and it shows that. And I saw this, I think it was a Pinterest idea, someone did. I You change things up and make them in your own, but that was the basic idea to put the hospital picture and then the time they were born with the numbers around and then the clock hands marking them. I used, for a circle, I was use a lampshade to trace around to make the circle for my clock, lightly trace it with a pencil and erased after I put my numbers in and then I use a magnetic ruler, actually two of them, to hold the play, the, pick, the scrapbook page in place and then to find out exactly where the 12, the 6, and the 3, and the 9 should go and then I freehanded the other numbers in there. I didn't quite get the 5 in the right place because I didn't want my grandson's precious little finger to be covered up by a number and so five is off a little bit, but that's okay. I'd rather see the finger. And as you can see right there too, I put how much he weighed and how long he was in there. And then I put the date he was born. And then I put, welcome to the world. And finally, I put his name there. Now, the only thing I changed, I had put something else there right here where this great sticker is. And I found out that I didn't really care for it. And I was so thankful that it peeled right off and didn't leave any damage to the page. And I was able to put this sticker on that I had purchased a long time ago also. So one of the other things I did when making this page, I was trying to decide what background paper to use. And I knew I wanted to be baby and I wanted to be little boy. But I knew it couldn't be too busy because it already has a lot going on. And I really liked, really, really like this page. It's storks, and who doesn't want storks for a newborn picture? But I just thought it was too busy. And so then I was disappointed in myself because I thought, I don't have any more grandchildren coming, at least in the near future. Who knows if ever. What am I going to do with this beautiful page? I just love it so much. Well, guess what movie we went to this weekend? I went to with my grandchildren and daughter-in-law. Can you read it? Storks. So can you guess what I'm going to do with that paper? I'm going to make a movie page. And I'm going to, I have movie a few pictures from most of the movies. I'm going to math them with the this t movie ticket paper. And it's going to be awesome. So you'll see that possibly in another video. Meanwhile, visit me at www.debscraps.com. You'll see different um, scrapbook layouts, and you'll also see my Project Life album, which is always ongoing. And sometimes I throw in other crafts. Lately, I've been on a reef kick, so that's what I've been doing when I throw in the other crafts. So thank you so much for visiting. God bless. Have a great day.